batteries power everything, from smartphones to scooters to electric cars. Lithium-ion batteries are the most widely adopted battery chemistry, however, they still have many practical limitations. One of the biggest problems is limited range and slow charging times. But a group of engineers and scientists may have invented a game-changing battery that can fully charge in just five minutes. Who are these scientists, and how does this new battery work? Join us as we dive into the new 105 battery that could change the EV industry forever. With an EV revolution ahead of us, the battery market is set to grow exponentially. The problem we have always faced with batteries is that they have a limited range and in most cases take between 30 minutes and 10 hours to charge depending on which car and charger you are using. Even the most advanced lithium-ion batteries suffer from these problems. Tesla 4680 battery cells are a step up, but even these have a maximum range of just 400 miles and take 30 to 45 minutes to charge at a supercharger. If you were to charge these at home, it would take 10 hours. But what if there was a battery that could charge in just five minutes? That's where the new 105 battery comes in. StoreDot is an Israeli company that has developed a battery capable of charging 100 miles in just five minutes. These new battery use silicon dominant anode lithium ion cells that charge as fast as filling your tank with gas. This new battery chemistry is not only fast charging, but is also said to have a longer lifespan than current lithium ion batteries. The company are currently working with car manufacturers to bring this new technology to market with a target of 2025. These batteries were created by a startup called StoreDot, which first grabbed headlines in 2014 when they developed a lithium ion smartphone battery that fully charged in just 30 minutes. Since then, their team have been working on cutting edge battery innovations and has raised a total of $269 million to solve this problem. The company are backed by some of the biggest names in the business, including Polestar, Mercedes-Benz, VinFast, BP, Samsung, and TDK. The new battery cells are made up of a silicon dominant anode, which is different to the current graphite anode that is used in most lithium ion batteries. They use lithiated nanosilicon to replace graphite. In our technology, nanoparticles with an organic coating protection layer provide for thousands of charge cycles, preventing problems that form with graphite-based counterparts, Meyersdorf, CEO of the company, commented. The new chemistry not only enables faster charging times, but also increases its energy density. Energy density just means how much energy can be stored per kilogram of battery. Cars with low energy density have a lower range and therefore need more batteries to compensate. It's a negative loop because more batteries mean more weight, which in turn reduces the range and handling capabilities. For comparison, the Tesla 4680 cells used in the Model Y are estimated to have an energy density of 272 watt hours per kilogram. The new StoreDot batteries have an energy density of 300 watt hours per kilogram. It may not seem like much, but every kilogram counts when it comes to battery performance. The Tesla Model Y will charge in about 45 minutes using a supercharger. This should give you a 330 kilometer range. The new StoreDot battery would fully charge, giving you the same amount of range in just 15 minutes. Much faster and with a lighter battery unit. The CEO confirmed this week, I am delighted that we have now commenced intensive real world testing with leading OEMs and am confident that our cells will exceed OEM expectations with respect to energy density and extreme fast charging. StoreDot is yet to disclose to who they have delivered the batteries, but there is no doubt their strategic investors in the EV business, Polestar and Mercedes-Benz, will be testing them rigorously. StoreDot is currently working on mass production readiness of its 105 cells with its manufacturing partner, Eve Energy in China. StoreDot partnered with Eve Energy, which already has large production facilities in China, this means the startup does not need to invest in a full factory and instead can focus on battery innovation rather than operations and production. StoreDot has heavily protected the company's innovation with no less than 100 patents and another 52 being processed. Chinese company Aeon are an EV manufacturer that also focuses on fast charging. They claim to be able to charge their latest SUV, the Aeon V, in just 10 minutes. They do this through the use of a super fast 480 kilowatt fast charger that will add 200 kilometers of range in just five minutes. It's quite hard to find out if there are any significant battery innovations, but if they are solely relying on the charger to load more power rather than battery innovations, it could be a risky strategy. Fast charging is generally seen as harsher on a battery than the normal charging method. This could mean that the battery life expectancy is much lower, but it is still yet to be seen as the car is yet to be released. StoreDot has not stopped at five minute charges. 
they have some high targets to reach. They want to release a battery that will charge 100 kilometers in three minutes by 2028, and then a two minute charge to 100 kilometers by 2030. As many EV owners know, charging faster is one of the key levels to pull on the journey to full EV adoption globally. The gold standard is for you to be able to charge an EV faster than you can refuel an ICE vehicle. Hyundai is another manufacturer that is focused on fast charging. They have released the Ioniq 5 and Ioniq 6, both of which have been received incredibly well by the market. The Ioniq 5 won Car and Driver's EV of the Year 2022, and the Ioniq 6, which has just entered production, is guaranteed to sell out given the reviews. Hyundai claims that the Ioniq 5 can fully recharge from under 10% in just 18 minutes. Ford Motor Company have also been working on battery innovations for their EV range but has taken a different direction by adopting LFP batteries. These batteries have a low energy density so are heavier, but have one huge advantage. They cost much less to make. The main reason they cost less is that they do not use exotic materials such as cobalt and nickel, which have skyrocketed in price over the last two years. In a statement, the Ford Motor Company said they reduce the reliance on scarce critical minerals such as nickel and, at current costs, brings a 10 to 15% bill of material savings for Ford versus NCM batteries. Ford chose to use lithium iron phosphate batteries to give their customers great products that are also affordable, which is part of Ford's company ethos. Henry Ford famously said, I will build a motor car for the great multitude. This was echoed by Jim Farley, the current Ford CEO, when he said, we're building pickups for the many, not the few, during a Ford F-150 Lightning event. It will be interesting to see how the new battery technology plays out and which companies will focus on fast charging innovation. What is important to remember is that although there have been some amazing advances in battery technology, there is still a long way to go before we see an EV battery pass the ultimate test. The ultimate test is, of course, charging faster than it takes to fill up a car with a tank of gas. Who knows if it will ever be reached, but it's reasonable to think that most people would be more than happy if they can recharge their electric vehicle in just five minutes. Thank you for watching until now. We truly appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV and tech news. See you next time.